What's going on you guys? We are at the park. I love this place. This place has a special place in my heart. I met one of my mentors, Steve. He loves fishing out here too. We used to do this a lot in the winter, summer, fall, everything. Chasing crappies, bass. But today, we're gonna chase some crappies. I'll see you guys in a second. Peace. All right, so I'm gonna use this as my leader line. If you guys don't know nothing about the SOS line, it's a trout company. I stand by it. I use two pound tests of these guys, uh, the, these lines. They are the truth. They, they're really good. I got the four pound one right here. I'm gonna use as leader. I'm gonna tie a double jig rig on. Hopefully these crappies are biting. I'll take about maybe two and a half feet, two and a half feet of the leader line. And then I'm gonna tie it on to my bobber. Now for my bobber setup, I got a bobber, got bobber stoppers up there somewhere. And then I got a eighth ounce barrel weight and a barrel swivel right there. That's just for me to get distance. Now I'm gonna tie this on with a improved clench knot. It's like that, it's like a Y. I mean, I, you doubled it over. I put my finger right there, wrap it five, six times, and then go back through that loop by your finger and then you created another loop by doing that. Send that back through. Wet your knot, cinch it down, cut off tagging. Now we're gonna use the double jig rig. I'm gonna put a 30 second on top and probably a 64th at the bottom. 30 second up top. So that way everything will pendulum back towards me when I move it. Easy rig, easy setup. <clears throat> Easy every time I'm gonna use both chartreuse head. You know what? No. I'm gonna use a pink head at the bottom. 132nd ounce. Pink head, little guy, little, little. I'm gonna tie him on with a loop knot. Yeah, with a little loop knot. You you put it in through the eye, pull it to your desired length. I don't want my leader too long, so and then you put it together, both of your lines, make a loop, go in through that loop three times. And then cinch it on down. You use the eye of the hook to help cinch it on down. Pull it up over the eye, wet it, and cinch it on down. Now, with this one, it's the same thing. Put it about a foot away from the pink one. You double your line over, make a loop. Go in that loop three times. And you can make your your loop loop knot as big as you want it. As big or as small as you want it. Just like that. And you got two of them right there. I think I'm gonna put a, a Bobby Garland up here. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna put down there yet. That's a good one. That one's a little bigger, huh? Look at that. Pretty, pretty. But we're not keeping a day. It's you guys' lucky day. So we're gonna let you go. Got him, got him, got him. Feels light though, feels small. A little bluegill, yep. Yep. He still got his color and it's winter time. Look at him. I knew you guys was playing over there. All right, keep playing. 
we need some more nibbles. He didn't take the bobber all the way down, but he was moving it, so set the hook. <clears throat> Turtles are out. See one turtle head. So does that mean snakes are out too? I mean, like it's chilly out here. Ugh, come on. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, all right by that turtle head too. Don't eat it, Mr. Turtle. It's not for you. Oh, oh, oh my God. He was moving it too. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, that one was better. That one felt better. I know there ain't no more nibbles on there. Dang. Oh yeah, there's still nibbles on there. That one felt a little heavier. Send it back there. Ooh, wrong spot, but I got hit right there too. Uh oh. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Uh oh. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh shoot. No. He's right there. He's still right there. Still right there. See him? Ah. I knew it. He's still right there. I just can't see him right now. Dang it. He's right here somewhere, dude. Oh, well. You guys seen him. <laughs> and they just keep drowning my bobber, dude, just like that. There we go. Yep, crappie. Good one too. Good crappie. Oh yeah. Most definitely. Can't play with this guy. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a good one. About 11. That's a good one right there. That's a dandy. All right, let's go ahead and let him go. Let's go ahead and let him go. So he can make some more babies. Go. Yeah. He's going. Oh yeah, that felt great. Uh, starting to sprinkle a little bit, but that's not gonna stop us. I got a 132nd ounce jig head on with a crappie magnet, black and chartreuse, with a bobber under a bobber. You guys see it? Yep. I'm gonna cast over here to my right. Hopefully there's a few more. Where there's one, there's more. Yep. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Lil Gilly, Lil Gilly. Got to weed out the little one to get the big ones. Took my nibble.
got him. Got him. That's a little guy. Definitely. I did not know it was supposed to rain today. I know it's supposed to probably snow. It is supposed to snow a little bit. Oh, there we go. Crappie, black crappie. This is, no, it was just a dark bluegill. <laughs> Little guy. Oh, he's good. A couple more casts, and then we're gonna make our way down. Probably call it. It is cold. That little bluegill was so dark, I thought it was a black crappie. Come on, one more, one more. Oh, there we go. Not a crappie. But an okay size bluegill. I wouldn't take them home, but it's all right. These guys need to put on some more weight. Yep. One more good bluegill and we're out of here. Rain didn't turn into snow, snow turned into sleet, sleet turned into snow. Ah, I can't do it. It's too cold. I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? If you guys like what you see, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you guys don't mind, and if you guys want to see more videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But until then, I'll see you guys on the next one. Storm is coming, but I'm prepared.